Now, this is depiction of complete Nisimhavataram in Egyptian art. So, if you have visited the Sun Temple at Luxor, or you have visited the pyramids of Giza, or you have been to the temple of Komombo, or to Edfu in Egypt, you will find that this art that he has showcased is one of its kinds where Bhagavatam can be shown in Egyptian art. See, when we have a chocolate Krishna and a guitar Ganapati, why can't we have an Egyptian Nisimha? Right? Nisimha trailokya meta dakhilam narasimha garbham While the Lord engulfed the universe tr proving true to his devotee, he would have engulfed even Egypt. Right? He, would, he was not geography specific only to certain places where Hiranyakashipu was. Now, let's see how this Egyptian art takes us through. The first part. From the left, can you see that there is Adi Sesha Narayana at the top? Then you see Hamsa below. Hamsa determines the purity in a person for its color and for its attribute. And Hamsa also denotes the attribute of abandoning pleasures. So, Acharyas are called Parama Hamsas. The four children of Brahma took to celibacy. They were the Sanat Kumaras. They were celibates. They had abandoned riches. How will I show that they were celibates? A Hamsa is put at the top. Now, they go to Vaikuntham, the Karya Vaikuntham and ask for an entry. The moment they are asked for an entry, they are denied. Jaya and Vijaya tell him that they are not allowed to go. There is an altercation between them, the result of which is where they pronounce a curse on the two, that they shall be born on earth. There is another part in the Upanishad, where one person who has, who has accumulated a lot of punyam goes to Swargam. He sees a lot of dance happening there, and towards the end of that dance, he sees one Apsarastri pushing another king upside down. She goes, he goes running to her. Oh, Apsarastri, what crime did this person commit for you to push him upside down back to earth? She said, his Punyam account has completely depleted. So I'm pushing him back to earth. This man was a bit confused. So he asked, are you going to push me? No, 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 no. I'm not going to push you today. Tomorrow I'll do. Because your punyam shall get depleted tomorrow. So going to earth has always been upside down. A child is also born that way. Right? So these two were cursed to go to earth. How will he mention the word earth there? Just turn them upside down. That becomes earth. So you see the left part. Then, you see the next depiction of Hiranyakashipu actually wanting to attack the Lord. But here comes a prior incident where Hiranyaksha goes and attacks the Lord. The Lord is Varaha. Hiranyaksha goes and attacks the Lord and finally is defeated. So the Lord as Varaha is depicted rescuing earth. Even in architecture, there are two ways of depicting Varaha. One, you show him with the Adi Purusha Shariram, with the face of a boar and showing Bhuma Devi, like how you see in Tirvida Vendai or Sri Mushnam and so on. But if you go to Madhya Pradesh, the Kajuraho temples and there you see the depiction of Varaha, it is a proper boar. In the boar's body, they will always show the Devas. So you either show him as a boar or you show him as a man boar. So here you see Varaha being depicted with those Damshtras. Damshtra is the tusk. And then he fighting with Hiranyaksha. All this is happening in water. So let's come to blue there. And then comes the next um, uh, depiction where Vara Hiranyakashipu, uh, Hiranyaksha has died at the hands of Varaha. Hiranyakashipu to the end of it is crawling and searching where the person who has killed my brother is. So the depiction of Hiranyakashipu searching is very, very true, very typical of Egyptian art. Then we go to the last part where 
he is wondering what to do next what should i do what should i do i'll take you to the next part the result of which is his rise of tamogunam and rajogunam so we are back from the blue waters now we may ask sir when you are saying rajogunam tamogunam when did we when did he have sattva gunam you read bhagavatam in the saptama skandham when rishabhanu the wife of hiranyaksha laments over the death of her husband and his body is lying in the sabha hiranyakashipu goes and advises rishabhanu his sister in law what can we do atma is eternal body is anityam it is perishable nityo avyaya you read there is a verse in bhagavatam you can call it hiranyakashipu geeta he was very good at that point in time just that the rajogunam and tamogunam overtook his sattva gunam and then he goes and does penance towards brahma now brahma appears he initially says that uh, i need to become immortal immortality is something that i cannot grant says brahma decisively so you need to come up with some other equations constraints so he says i should neither die here nor there neither in this place nor that place they were all like mathematical formulas right so you see plus minus so there were the various permutations in which he has come so this is a depiction you may ask why because it is very important for an artist to convey the thoughts of our shastras just through a painting so you should not ask for one person such as me to come and explain the painting is so self explanatory that you have to follow step by step now the equations have come finally he has been granted what he wanted so pagalilum shagan iravilum shagan ullilum shagilan purattilum shagilan melilum shagilan bhoomilum shagilan manidanal shagilan mrigattalum shagilan uyir ulladalum shagilan uyir uyir attadalum shagilan next you see narada rendering upanyasams which is the side effectless prescription for good sleep upanyasams right so he has been rendering upanyasams now he has been doing it with the veena can you see the veena why bhattadri tells in the 24th dashakam of narayaniyam munehe veena paano he had veena now the lady sitting opposite him is kayadhu the wife of hiranyakashipu who has been rescued from the clutches of indra she was pregnant at that point in time second or third trimester i am not aware now there is a fetus inside her amnionic sac it has been told time and again for us while narada narrated the fetus was attentive we are not told about the mother the fetus was attentive tamil la solumbodu o kottithu abinba so this child is listening why that veena because in the simantonnayanam or in the pumsavanam the veena is the only instrument that is played right so this depiction of kayadhul and her feet is listening from the mouth of narada then you see the boy being born then he keeps reciting the names of narayana he is completely immersed in such unadulterated bhakti then towards the end you see hiranyakashipu now in the thought as to these two teachers have disowned my son shanda and amarka we cannot teach your son he is incorrigible in many ways he is not listening to the syllabus that we are dispensing he is creating his own syllabus have him home schooled so what should i do now he thinks let's see what happens सशूलैरावद्ध सुबहुमथितो दिग्गजगणै महासर्पैर्दश्रोप्यशनयन गराहार विधुता गिरीन्द्रवक्षिप्तोप्य परमात्म विभो ई न्यस्तात्मी न नपीडाम भजत ही ट्रई टू पुट द बॉय टू डेथ अंडरटेकिंग वेरियस् टास्क वन वॉज टू से बॉय पुशिंग फ्रॉम द हिल्स इन टू द वाटर्स नेक्स्ट he was asked to be trampled by the force of the elephants then the poisonous snakes were to bite him 
But this boy escaped everything so effortlessly and seamlessly with a beautiful boat of devotion that he was sailing on. Now, this depiction on the left is Hiranyakashipu is asking, Is he there in this pillar? By the time he shows his finger, the Lord in Vaikuntha, Varacharya say, then only realize that he is omniscient. Our Sarva Vyaping Garde in the Koranda Shulida, our Ketanjada. Oh, who am I lately? Rukumbolerke, Trilo Kemeta the Kilam Narasim Hagar Bum, he comes. So you see a small Nusimha inside the pillar while he's pointing finger. Then finally emerges the Lord from the pillar and he's actually not killing Hiranyakashipu. He says, I have. Manage to pervade every space on this earth, on every possession and everybody. Probably Hiranyakashipu, I also want to get inside you. Kindly open the door. He knocks. But written on that door is Aham. My Ahankara will not let you in. He is knocking. He did not kill. Who told you it was a crime? It was just a question and answer session. He said, I will not let you in. The Lord said, I will tear open and check whether you will let me in or not. So it was just a simple altercation. It was no killing. So, that point in time, the boy from the bottom prays to the Lord, If at all you offer me a boon, please forgive my father. So this depiction, all that I have that explained in the last 14 and a half minutes, is found in one painting.